So today I want to take a look at the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. Now it's a phone that's been out for a minute. It came out in September of last year. It's got a few good things going for it, but it does have a couple of shortcomings which I will outline in this video. So if you're interested in looking at the Motorola Edge 30 Neo in 2023, stick around for this video and let's get into it. So I'll just quickly talk about the design of the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. Now it's got a relatively compact 6.2 inch OLED display with a fast 120 hertz refresh rate. Now the fact that we're calling a 6.2 inch display compact just goes to show how far and how big smartphone displays have gotten in recent years. But like I said, relatively compact, just 6.2 inches. And to be fair, it is a really nice display. It gets plenty bright enough outdoors. I didn't have any instances where I was struggling to see outdoors at all. And it's just a really nice high quality OLED display with great color accuracy. And of course, being an OLED display, you get those nice deep blacks and clean whites that you wouldn't necessarily then get from an LCD. And then of course, up in that top center, you get the 32 megapixel F2.4 selfie camera. And then overall around the edges of the phone, you get some pretty slim bezels. The bezel on the bottom of the phone is ever so slightly thicker than the bezels around the sides and on the top. So it is a really nice immersive display, despite being slightly smaller than other phones on the market. The phone is an all plastic phone. It is in this very peri color, which is a purple color that Motorola teamed up with Anton. It's not a company that I personally ever heard of, and it's something that might be going forward with future smartphones. So of course, around the edges of the phones, you've just got the usual stuff. On the bottom, you've got a speaker, microphone, USB-C charging port, and SIM tray. Unfortunately, there are no provisions to expand the storage by a micro SD card, but it is a dual SIM phone. So if you've got a second SIM, you can use it in the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. On the right of the phone is the power button, and then above that is the volume rockers. On the left is completely clean. And then on the top of the phone, you've got another microphone. And then in the earpiece is another speaker. So there's a stereo speaker setup on the Edge 30 Neo. So you get really high quality stereo speakers. But of course the bottom speaker is always gonna be the more powerful of the two, but you do get a nice immersive sound coming from the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. Flipping onto the back of the phone, again, it is an all plastic phone, but then you've got a pretty refreshing dual camera setup in the top left hand corner. A 64 megapixel f1.8 primary camera with optical image stabilization. This of course pixel bins down to 16 megapixel photos for brighter photos in lower light situations. And then the most refreshing of the two is this 13 megapixel ultra wide. Now, 13 megapixel resolution, of course, isn't the highest on the market, but it is definitely higher than the eight megapixels that you would usually find on budget smartphones of today. But that's not the only light that's on the back of the phone. You've got a pretty unique ring light that circles around the entire camera housing, and this can be configured to light up when the phone's charging, incoming calls, notifications, and all that sort of stuff. So that is a really nice addition to have on the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. And as for photos on the Motorola Edge 30 Neo, to be honest, they're actually pretty great. I think Motorola in general produces some pretty good camera phones. They produce photos with good amounts of detail. And the main thing for me is natural color. There's no oversaturating of any colors or anything like that. And that is definitely the case on the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. Really nice natural photos with good amounts of detail. I've got HDR set to auto, so this does a great job of controlling harsher conditions and not overexposing bright skies or underexposing darker areas. And then of course that 13 megapixel ultra wide is a really great addition and a really great upgrade from the normal eight megapixel cameras found on other budget devices. You don't get that usual loss of fine detail like grass and leaves and that sort of stuff that you do find on those cameras. The 13 megapixel ultra wide on the Motorola Edge 30 Neo is pretty great actually. And you also don't get that distortion around the edges of the photo. So distortion correction has done a great job at preventing that fisheye look on this ultra wide camera. And there's no depth sensor, there's no macro camera. There is a macro mode because the ultra wide does have autofocus. So you can get some higher quality macro photos from the ultra wide camera, not from a really crap two megapixel macro camera that they just slap on the back. And one thing on the main camera, you do get optical image stabilization as well. So video is nice and smooth. I will do a little bit of a video sample at the end coming from the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. So stick around to the end of the video so you can see the video quality on the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. 
And one area where Motorola did have to cut back a little bit is in the battery size. Now, of course, using a more compact phone with just a 6.2 inch display, compromises did have to be made. And the first area that normally happens, of course, is the battery. Now, you get a 4,020 milliamp hour battery inside the Motorola Edge 30 Neo, which to be fair, is not exactly small, but of course, it not anywhere near the 5,000 milliamp hours on other budget devices. So that is just an area where, of course, Motorola had to cut back, but the battery life on the Motorola Edge 30 Neo still is pretty good. It definitely gets me through a full day of my use. But of course, if you are someone that does a lot of intense gaming, uses a lot of the camera for photos and videos, you may well kill it in a day. But the Motorola Edge 30 Neo comes with super fast 68 watt charging. Now, it's not the fastest on the market. Of course, you get up to 150 watt charging on some phones today, but pair that with a small 4,020 milliamp hour battery and you can get a phone that can get from naught to 100% in just 40 minutes. And that is insane charging speeds on a budget. And also the Motorola Edge 30 Neo comes with wireless charging. Despite having a plastic back, you get wireless charging on the Motorola Edge 30 Neo, but of course this is capped at just five watts. So if you want to charge the phone up quickly, wireless charging is not the way to go. But if you get the compatible 68 watt charger, not to 100% in 40 minutes, which is pretty insane. Now storage and RAM configurations on the Motorola Edge 30 Neo, you get six or eight gigabytes with 128 or 256 gigabytes of, like I said before, non-expandable storage. I've got the model in the middle, which is eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. And performance comes courtesy of the pretty common Snapdragon 695 5G processor, which gets you really reliable performance. Of course, it's not the fastest on the market. You have to go for a course Snapdragon 7 series or 8 series to get better performance. But if you're someone that just uses the phone for basic tasks and a little bit of gaming, the 695 is absolutely fine and it is found in quite a few other phones on the market as well. And of course, like every other Motorola phone on the market, you get the nice clean stock Android experience, but unfortunately the Motorola Edge 30 Neo is running the old Android 12. So there's no Android 13 on the Edge 30 Neo. I did check for updates and nothing came up. So for the time being, that's what I've got. You do get January 2023 security patch, so it's up to date-ish with security patches. But that's something to bear in mind if you want the latest Android 13 software, you're not gonna get that, at least for the time being, on the Edge 30 Neo. Okay, so that's my look at the Motorola Edge 30 Neo in 2023, about eight months later after it was released. Overall, I think this is a really great phone. And if you can get it on the used market for around the 200 pound mark, which is what I did, you've got yourself a really great phone. Now, of course, there are other phones on the market as well at that sort of price, used as well. I've got the Galaxy A34 for similar money, which does offer some really great specs as well. And I did actually take this on my holiday and did a vlog video on it as well. So check out that video on my channel as well. And I did compare the photos from the A34 to the Motorola Edge 30 Neo while I was away as well. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out when I upload future videos. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So this is some video shot from the main camera of the Motorola Edge 30 Neo. Do let me know down in the comments what you think of this video quality, what it looks like, also what it sounds like, and maybe if you'd like to see this sort of thing at the end of every video, just a little bit of a sample of video coming from the phone that I'm reviewing. So let me know down in the comments, and here's a little bit more video coming from the Motorola Edge 30 Neo.